Hi, what's up guys? So greetings from the CBIT 2016 and today I have here one very innovative product for you. So this one here is the Acumen Holophone and it's a 7 inch tablet coming with an integrated projector. So this one here looks pr pretty awesome because um, the price is quite okay and it comes with a nice package so you get a lot of things and also it has pretty good specs. But that's not everything. They also have the Acumen Falcon and this is a 10 inch tablet coming also with an integrated projector and pretty nice specs. So I would say let's have a closer look at the tablet and the tablet. So guys, here it is. The Acumen Holophone and this one here is a 7 inch tablet running Windows 10. The chipset is the Intel Sherry Trail 8300. It's basically a quad core processor. Then the internal storage is 128 gigabytes so this is really a lot for a tablet which you can probably also expand. Then um, it has a projector here inside as I've told you. The screen size is 50 up to 100 inches. High definition is so 720p and up to 35 lumens. Doesn't sound a lot but also you don't need a lot if you just want to project a small screen. Now 5 megapixels on the front facing camera which is um, not here included on this one here right now. On the rear side there's um, another camera which should have 13 megapixel. All in all, 4 gigabytes of RAM which is quite a lot and the battery is 3500 milliamp hours. Now it also has 2G, 3G and 4G so you can put in a SIM card to have internet on the go and it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS inside. So let's have a closer look here at the front side and as you can see the bezels are not too thick. We have here the Windows logo at the bottom. Here at the top we have light and proximity sensor. The earpiece looks kind of awkward so with that um, yeah, silver thing here. Front facing camera there. Um, regarding the frame we have a couple of buttons. So we have a power button, we have a volume button and we have one projector button. So if you press it it will start the projector which is located here. Um, there's a manual focusing um, yeah, gear which you can um, slide around here to focus. And here 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And at the bottom, now at the bottom we have USB Type-C and here we have HDMI out as well as a speaker. Here you can see the rear side acumen and um, yeah, the projector comes here a little bit out, gets also a little bit warm, but now I would say let's quickly try it. So just before we check out the projector, let's maybe check out here Windows. So this is absolutely smooth on this device here. What it's, what's pretty cool is that it has 128 gigabytes of internal storage and this is really a lot. You know, most tablets have only 32 gigabytes or something like that. And if you then use SD cards, then you're somehow stuck because they don't mount this internal space. Well, um, this one here is pretty cool. Um, you can go to desktop mode right over here. So let me quickly do that. And and there we go. So you can switch here from tablet mode to desktop mode and then you have a fully working yeah, workstation where you could also have for instance PowerPoint, Excel or something like that if you want to show some kind of business presentation. But you could also play Minecraft with an OTG adapter. Um, just keep in mind this is USB Type-C and then just using it as kind of a gaming station because there's also a stand which I'll show you later. Now um, let's quickly go here to the file explorer. Um, there we go. Everything a little bit small so this is kind of hard. And there we go. So here's the file explorer and if you go here to this PC then um, you can see the huge storage of 128 gigabytes. So this is definitely cool. Oh well, that button here is working too. So um, before in tablet mode was not working but as you can see this button is also a capacitive touch button. Now when you want to start the projector you have to press the projector button which is located here at the top. So if you press it you can already see the projector is up and running and now we should be able to get a picture here. Now um, you need to focus, there's the focus wheel which I've shown you before, so if you rotate it as you can see picture gets blurry, now it gets sharper and let me zoom in a little bit so you can see how it actually works and how great it looks. Okay guys, so you can project very small images, um, but then um, you can't really focus properly. So it's actually from 50 up to 100 inches. And you can use the focus wheel here. You just have to move the device back to get a bigger picture. And now the picture looks quite sharp. So as I've told you, up to 100 inches, but just in complete dark rooms. So let's try to play back here a movie. You can use it for media playback. You could use it for playing games like Minecraft. Those um, Windows um, tablets with the Sherry Trail processor, I also tested some. They even capable of running Minecraft so they're not too bad at all. Now um, it's 720p resolution, looks quite sharp and yeah, um, colors are also looking okay, probably not here in the environment right now but in the final product they should look quite nice. So as you can see the project are pretty cool, there is no automatic keystone so um, as you can see it has not a full rectangular shape so you always have to hold your device like this that, it, that the project points straight at the wall but probably in some newer versions it will also have keystone. So, Pretty cool that it can have a projector in such a small tablet.
Alright guys, so here we have the bigger brother, it's the Falcon, and it's a 10 inch tablet, so a little bit bigger and heavier. It's also running the Sherry Trail 8300 Quadcar processor, running Windows 10, and it has 128GB of integrated storage, but it's upgradable with SD cards. So the project has the same projection size, 50 to 100 inches, high definition, so 720p, and yeah, up to 40 lumens, so a little bit more than the smaller um, tablet. Now 5 megapixels on the front facing camera, 30 megapixel on the rear camera, and it comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM as well as a 6000 milliamp hours battery in this not so thick tablet. So that looks pretty good. Also it has 2G, 4G and 3G so you can put in SIM cards to have internet on the go, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and GPS. Now let's turn it around so you can see the backside, nice carbon finish and um, yeah there we go. So Acumen logo, here it has the rear camera and yeah here are the buttons. So basically that's the projection button to start the projector. Here we have um, yeah, the volume rocker and here we have the power button. And yeah, let's have a look here at the projector, which you can see on this side. So here it is, really big looking lens. The speaker's placed here at the top, and here we have the focusing wheel, and here SD and um, SIM card slot. So the tablet is not too thick at all, just the projector is coming here a little bit out of the device. And here on the right side we have all the ports, like we have a 3.5mm headphone jack, we have a microphone, we have USB Type-C, here we have a fast charging port, so actually the DC jack, so you don't have to charge it over USB, which can be kind of slow. And we have here HDMI out, which you can use with an adapter, for instance, to connect it to your TV. So this is how it looks like. Now, pretty good looking. Also here, um, the front side, nice looking glass, and here at the bottom we have a button, which is basically um, Windows Home button. So there we go. We're now here in desktop mode, and for sure you can go to tablet mode, and you can do everything you can do also on a normal computer, so really running Windows 10. And there we go, so let's make this bigger. And also this tablet, as you can see, has 128 gigabytes of internal storage, which is really good because usually my Windows tablets always run out of storage and with SD cards it's even upgradable here on this one. Now to start the projector, you have to press the button on the bottom side, which is placed here. So this starts the projector really strong as you can see so yeah for a tablet for integrated it's 40 lumens and here you can see the image so acumen protecting you and it goes up from 50 to 100 inches but 100 inches only as i've said before in complete dark areas now to focus there's also the manual focusing wheel but also this one here no keystone so you have to point straight at the wall you're looking at now um, let me zoom in a little bit now the image quality of the project looks quite good, so it's 720p resolution and yeah, for an integrated project uh, it has nice colors, so you can see the blue tones, they're looking good, it's really bright here inside, but also the project is capable of yeah, just putting out an image, but if you want to have really big images, like a TV image, it should be completely dark. So 40 lumens is really not a lot, I had a lot of those Chinese projectors of 100 lumens and they were even way too um, low, but here, um, this one here works pretty good as you can see, but also the device has to be fully charged, because if the voltage level drops to a certain level then it could also have problems with the imaging quality and really drains a lot of the, of the battery. So this is why they also include a power bank and let me quickly show you how that looks like and the accessory which is sold um, within the package which is a little pan. So let's have a look at it. Well guys, um, this is also included inside of the package so it actually retails with the stand with um, that pan here with a Bluetooth speaker and a couple of earbuds and this pan is looking pretty cool. So you can use it as a normal pan here to control basically um, your tablet or to draw something but also has way more functions. It has an integrated laser pointer, it has some kind of a mouse wheel which is this one here, so this is basically like a trackball. Um, we have a couple of buttons to adjust the volume, to power down, and at the top we have a charging port, so here we have a micro USB port to power that whole thing. Also you will be able to just take out the battery and replace it, so that pan is looking pretty good and here you can see the top has some kind of pad here, so you get um, a smooth surface on there, but um, it's a little bit strange, I would like to have a ball um, tip here, so that pad here feels a little bit uncomfortable, especially if you want to draw something because you know that's a huge area. But looking pretty good and nice that it's included, which you don't have to buy extra, but also for the price, yeah, this one here should be included. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's also talk about the price. Now, depending on the package, so what you choose, it goes from a basic to premium package, there are different things included. But um, the base price, so of the model, so the big one, the small one, it's the same, it's 750, but can go up to 950 depending on what accessories you want. There is the stand included, which is pretty cool because you can put your tablet in like this and yeah, um, just fold it up and then you have a portable projector stand. And also it includes a power bank because, you know, um, protection takes a lot of power so you can um, just recharge your device using the power bank and it has a um, pretty powerful output, so 2.1 amp out and 1 amp out and also here it has a micro USB port to charge it as well as a button here to start it. Now you can fold this together and that's pretty cool. 
So that's also a Bluetooth speaker, a wireless speaker included, and yeah, it has here a couple of things like handset mode, you can play and pause, and you can power it down. And this one here can be also included inside of the package, but honestly I have to say, Bluetooth speakers are so cheap, it's probably not worth it to go with the full package. Um, just if you want to stand, because this is somewhat It's also um, a headset included, which you can see here, um, yeah, a couple of in-ears with a um, gold-plated 3.5mm headphone jack, as well as here a little remote control with a microphone, so for instance if you want to do calls. So you can get all those accessories extra for free, so you really have to decide for yourself if it's worth to go with the bigger package. Honestly, I have to say, the stand, and this one here is cool, but I could live without the Bluetooth speaker and without the headphones. Alright guys, so this was our quick look here at the Acumen Holophone, which is the 7 inch one and the Falcon which is the bigger one. All in all pretty cool looking devices, nice bags with big storage, highlight definitely the integrated projector but a little bit pricey. Now the base price as I've told you is 750 and you really have to decide if you need those accessories and go up to the maximum or if you even need an integrated projector because this really um, makes those devices super expensive. But yeah, um, nice tablets and nice looking projector. Can't really wait to see the final product which will all support dual boot because um, yeah, they need to get some kind of certification but after that you will have Android and Microsoft on both devices so dual boot is definitely something I enjoy. Now thanks for watching this hands-on and I'm pretty looking forward to review units to um, show you some more in-depth details about those um, devices. Now thanks for watching, have a nice day and bye-bye.